and welcome to Healing with Tony. Now, I am very, very excited. This is the second episode of this show. And what I am wanting to accomplish with this show is to show that there are alternative means of healing. If we look deeper, sometimes we can find the answers to the problems that we've been having physically, mentally, emotionally, sometimes an energetic healing or a hypnosis session can go a lot further than a prescription. Today, my very, very, very daring and wonderful guest, Nancy, is going to help us do a regression session. She's volunteered. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Tony. I'm excited. I am so excited. So in a regression session, we go back to a certain time and place where something either happened or needs to be healed, or it could even be a happy event that we're bringing that happiness back in. In some cases, this is a time and point during this current life that you are experiencing. In other cases, we may just journey even further back than that. I've had experiences where we've gone back to the womb and the person was able to tell me what it was like in the womb or prior to even coming in. So we're just going to do this session today and see where we end up and what we find out. How do you feel about that? This is real interesting because normally I don't experience anything. So if I do experience it, it'll be great. I have. So that's why I'm excited. Yeah, I have a tremendous amount of faith in you. Um, I'm going to use a uh, method that I mm -hmm. often use where we are going to go down a uh, tunnel. There will be doors, and you get to pick what door you are going through. And this door will be a time period that comes up for something that uh, is, is, is needed for you. Okay. So we're not going to direct this back to a specific, although that is possible, we're not going to direct it back to a specific time or place or even a specific life. Because we can do, let's go back to a life when we were, you know, famous or happy or spiritual, whatever it may be. Um, we're going to let you decide what door you choose to walk through today. Interesting. Okay. And because this method, it's visualization from beginning to end, I feel like you'll be really uh, capable Good. of getting there very quickly and, and, and being in that space where this is a, a, an excellent experience for you. Now, Nancy, you have had hypnosis before. So just really quick, say, how does hypnosis feel? When you're in the state of hypnosis, it feels like? Nothing. I just thought that there was more to it than there is, but there's not. Right. And that's, uh, that is the perfect answer because people do think it's this big thing. Absolutely. That's why I kept thinking, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And then you'd, you'd always go, you did it. And I'm like, really? Yeah. That was it? Yeah. People think hypnosis is this state that is far away or really exactly. ominous based on, you know, false TV characterization of it. <laughs> or the movies I watch. <laughs> the, or the mo false movie characterization of it. Exactly. But really, it's the state in between awake and asleep. It's that state, right? You could choose to fall asleep into a deep sleep or you could get up and go to the bathroom if you had to. I won't. Yeah, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> Maybe not the best example <laughs> to use on air. Really huh? <laughs> okay, so are you ready to get, mm -hmm. get started? Good. Now, we're going to do the very best we can mm -hmm. to do this regression therapy because I am an expert. If we can't do the regression therapy, we'll just go into a different type of session. Okay. But I know you'll be able to do the regression. We'll find out. So are you okay. ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a very slow, very deep breath in. If you'd like to put your feet up, you can put your feet up. Okay. Get comfortable, relaxed. Okay. 
Put your head back, close your eyes. Take a very slow, deep breath in. And as you allow that breath to release, allow yourself to relax even deeper. I want you to know that any noises you hear, any noises at all, people talking, phones ringing, doors opening and closing, will simply take you deeper and deeper into that state of hypnosis. As a matter of fact, the sound of my voice, each and every word I speak, one word building upon the next, will simply take you deeper and deeper in. In a moment, not quite yet, but in a moment, I'm simply going to count from three down, two, one. When I reach one, you'll be in a very deep, very relaxed state of hypnosis. With each count, you'll simply go a thousand times deeper. As a matter of fact, each and every time I count, three, two, or one, you will simply go a thousand times deeper. Let's try that now just to see how it feels. Three, two, one. Perfect. Now in this very relaxed, very comfortable state, I'd like you to use your imagination. And in your imagination, I would like you to see a tunnel. On the far end of this tunnel, there's a very, very bright white light. The tunnel is well lit, clean, and beautiful. On either side of the tunnel, there are doors. Above each door, there is a word. In a moment, not quite yet, but in a moment, you're going to walk down that tunnel and pick a door. When you can clearly see the tunnel and the doors, just say, okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, I'm going to count from three down, two, one. When I reach one, you'll start walking down the tunnel to pick a door. Before you pick the door, I would like you to put your hand on the door to get the feeling of what's behind that door. Three, two, one. Let's start walking down the hall the tunnel. As you walk down the tunnel, look at each and every door. If you find a door that you think you would like to open, put your hand upon the door to see how it feels. Does it feel good? Mm -hmm. Does it feel safe? Then look at the word above the door. So, have you found a door you'd like to open? Perfect. In a moment, we're going to open that door and walk through. Once you open the door, you'll be able to clearly see and speak everything that you see. I'll ask some questions to guide you and to see where you are and what's going on behind that door. So, let's open that door now. And tell me, is it daytime or nighttime? Nighttime. Do you see other people around? Mm hmm Okay. I want you to tell me, first, we're going to discuss you. Are you younger or older? Younger. Approximate age? In my 30s. Okay. The color of your skin? White. And can you tell what type of clothing you're wearing? Um, it's like a blue dress with like a pinafore over it. Perfect, beautiful. 
as you see the other people around, what are they doing? We're like in a park and people are eating bread and they're drinking and there's little kids running around. What are the other people wearing? What are the men wearing? They're wearing um, shorts. Can you tell uh, what, from, from what era? Like in the 70s. Okay, perfect, perfect. So as you see this scene, are you alone or are you? With friends. You're with friends, good. I'm going to simply ask you to tell me what happens next. And when I do, you're going to move into the scene and be able to tell me what's going on in this scene. So here we go. What happens next? We're kind of like all mingling and we're drinking wine. Um, And we're sitting on the grass. You know, people are coming in and out. Just a bunch of friends. Okay. Now there is some significance to this particular scene. Is there anyone in particular that stands out to you mm -hmm. in this scene? Okay. Good. Perfect. So let's see what happens next. I guess it's getting late and we're all gonna to have to go home. Okay. And what's the feeling with that? We're good, everybody's good because it's like a school night. Even though I said I was in my 30s, it's kind of like maybe we have to go to work or something, so. Okay, perfect. So let's go and follow that. And on your way home or to your home, let's go there and tell me what happens next. I have a roommate. We just get ready and go to bed. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now I wanna ask you, what was the word above this particular door? It was test. Okay, perfect. So I want you to tell me what happens next. You go to bed, you wake up, what happens next? I guess. Mm. I don't know what happens next. That's okay. That's okay. This is perfect. You saw what you needed to see from this. Let's find that door again. Let's walk to the door and get back in the tunnel. Let's go and close that door. And we're going to go back even further now. I want you to find another door, any door you choose. When you've found another door, put your hand on it. Okay. And what's the word above this door? Smart. Okay. Let's open this door. And I want you to tell me what's the first thing you see when you open this door. I see a waterfall and it's like an afternoon and it's warm, the sun's out and I see a waterfall. Perfect. And tell me a little bit about yourself. What color is your skin? What are you wearing? I'm white. Mm -hmm. My hair is blonde. Mm, I think I have a sundress on. Okay. And are you at the waterfall with anyone in particular? Mm. Okay. Are there others around the waterfall? There is, but I don't know them. Okay. okay. Do you get a sense or a feeling of where this waterfall might be? It's okay, that's perfect. So let's go a little bit deeper into this scene. 
Let's go a little bit deeper into what's happening here. So as you look around, what do you notice? I see a very attractive guy. And we kind of make eye contact with each other. Mm -hmm. So we kind of walk toward each other and say hi. Uh-huh. And what happens next? We started talking. And then... We just sit down on the grass and we just start talking some more. Wonderful. Now, I, do you know who this person is in this life? Maybe I do. Look into his eyes. Mm -hmm. Look into his eyes. Do I you? do. Okay. Now, this is very, very significant. I want you to get understanding from this person. Allow this person to give you some understanding. I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe some information or some uh, any sort of information that they might have for you that'll help you understand this life or why you chose this door. Once they do, there you go, excellent. Okay, sitting on the grass talking, is there anything else that you need from this person? Mm -hmm. I would like you to ask this person if you got all the information that you came here to get. Yes. Excellent. Perfect. I want you to look around the waterfall, and I want you to look around at everybody who's there, and I want you to tell me if you notice anything else about this particular area or this scene. There's just water, a lot of water around with this waterfall. Okay, beautiful, excellent. And as you notice the waterfall and the water, I would like you to look at the people that are there with you. Do any of them represent anything that you can tell? Mm -mm. Okay, perfect, perfect. What is the feeling that you get when you're here? I'm at peace. I'm at peace. Excellent. I would like to ask a, a somewhat odd question. Is that a waterfall in between here and there? No. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. Let's go back through the door when you're ready. And then I'm going to give you the choice. Would you like to walk through another door or are you ready to come back now? I'm ready. Okay. I want you to walk back down that tunnel away from the light, back to where we are. And as I count from one to three, you'll be wide awake, feeling absolutely wonderful, remembering everything that you experienced. And one, starting to wake up. Two, eyes starting to open. Three, wide awake, back here. Yay. Feeling wonderful. How was that? Good. Okay, so now here's the great part. We have this great question and answer opportunity now. So first of all, how did it feel, again, how did it feel to be in that session? It was very relaxing. It was um, um, You know, it's just, this is also new to me that it's, I, I don't know. I, 
I don't know. Just very relaxing. That's what most people, that's the term most people use really? when they describe hypnosis. It's just very relaxing, very peaceful, mm -hmm. very comfortable. Now, the two doors that you went through, mm -hmm. they uh, were both of them in this life, time frames in this life. Yes. Awesome. Excellent. So before going in, when's the last time you thought about those two time frames, the waterfall and mm -hmm. the park? years. So now going back to them during this session, coming out of the session and looking at the first one, the park, and the word above the door that said test, do you understand what that word meant as it pertained to that time frame and that experience? No. Isn't that interesting? That's I thought I did when I was doing it, but now when I'm thinking, going, mm, I don't. Yeah, I don't. But, but obviously, okay. it's got to have something. You and and that is so. You know what? When we might not know how it's meant, but then that's not the important thing. The thing is that you probably passed it. Whatever that test was, you probably passed it. And, and it's never a test that somebody else is giving us. Mm -hmm. It's always a test that we give ourselves. Always. Okay, that's interesting. Yes, it goes back to that self-love. Just having that self-love and knowing that we are worthy no matter who's around us or who's not around us. Others can't make us significant. We come insignificant. Okay, that, you just answered my question, that, yeah. There we go. You're they're, so smart. They're good, aren't they? They're so good. They're right on. <laughs> they are. Okay, that was good. Yeah, I, absolutely. It was amazing. I love when they bring information through. So then the next... I like it when they do, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the next one hmm? we went through was the waterfall. So... Uh, my, uh, of course, who sat down with you? Who did you talk with? It was a person that's come into my life, but he was in my, when you said his eyes, it's the same eyes. Yeah. They always have the same eyes. They always have the exact same eyes. Yeah. We always, we in, I think we incarnate time after time with the same eyes. I don't know. That's interesting that you just said that. Do we incarnate with the same people most of the time when we incarnate? Yeah, there will be some that come in with us and some don't, but we do have a soul group that comes okay. and from Because you said that before. Group, okay, yeah, soul group. will come in at different times for different reasons and different purposes. So, yeah. Okay, I was going to ask you that. Yeah, so in the... It, uh, sitting on the grass talking, do you, mm. did you get to know what that conversation was about? Mm. I okay. didn't. And then when I said there was something significant he needed to tell you, did you get to hear? Now, here's the beautiful thing. We don't need to consciously know what that is mm -hmm. because subconsciously we get it. And when we get it, that message on a unconscious level or a subconscious mm -hmm. level, it automatically goes into our conscious mind and is then the new program. So you went into that room and above the, or that, that, that door, mm -hmm. you went through that door and above that door said smart. And how does that, what meaning does that word or that, what, how significant is that in your life? How does that word apply to you? Um, I think that's a huge word because I don't think I am that smart. You know, so for me to say that smart, and that person I was talking to is very smart. So I think smart was, because um, I am smart. You, yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? So I think it was a, like a healing word. Yeah, and that whatever information was given to you was that confirmation and the information that you needed to accept mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. accept that, accept that. So overall, how would you say this experience was for you? It was great. Is that what you just said? How was it? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought yeah. you said. It was great. 
I mean, yeah. Would you recommend it to others? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, seriously. Yeah. So, because you make it so like nonchalant, but yet there's healing going on. Yeah, even and you something think as there subtle was. as this, where exactly. it wasn't like, I work with a lot of people who have PTSD from trauma of sexual abuse and veterans coming home or oh. physical abuse in their childhood. Mm -hmm. And we can heal that without, first of all, we don't have to look at it to heal it. But when we, when we go into that space where it sits inside of us and start healing it, it just dissolves away and even something as subtle as this mm -hmm. that in reality is so huge it's amazing to be able to go in and just I have know, but to little, heal people especially yeah. if they have you know we're in the war or you know these serious situations like that right. wow it's such what a, a gift it's and such an honor such an honor well nancy thank Thanks, you Tony. for being so brave to come on and do this today so Thanks, Tony. It was great. Amazing to have you on. You are always just the most amazing guest. Always such an amazing guest to have on. Well, you give me strength, so oh. don't think you don't. I think it comes from within. <laughs> I think you helped me. <laughs> okay, I'll take that one. Okay. And I want to thank you for joining us today. I hope this was insightful for you and you enjoyed watching this. If you would like more information on hypnosis or alternative modes of healing, please visit my website, tonig.info. There's a, just a, a tremendous amount of information there that might be able to help you. Until next time, have an absolutely amazing day.